So, as many of you know, I worked at a movie theater this summer. It was a lot of fun. I had a lot of benefits. I got to go see a lot of free movies. It was awesome. There's also another thing about movie theaters that is not quite as awesome, but also still awesome in its own weird way. There's a lot of really odd people that come into movie theaters, especially late on Tuesday nights, for example. Uh, late on Tuesday nights are probably the best and worst time to go to a movie. Best because there's going to be no one in the theater, hardly anyone in the theater. Worst because the people that are there are going to be kind of odd. So, my favorite story from this summer was I was working late at night at concessions and there's this, you know, there's harmless flirting with your waitress or waiter and because I'm serving food, you know, you want to make the person who's giving you food happy because they're bringing you food and you love them for that, even if you don't know them. They are providing you with sustenance and that is an amazing thing that they are doing for you and you should be very happy and so flirting with the waitress or the waiter is very nice. It's just kind of a courtesy almost to do it to someone. And so there's flirting, which is what normal people do. And then there's crossing lines and boundaries and making people uncomfortable, which is what this one couple that came in late on a Tuesday night did to me. So let me set the scene. I'm at concessions, lower part of the theater. I'm the only one working concessions at this point. There's people upstairs still, but they're just working the fryer. There's really not much going on up there. I think it's like the second to last movie of the night. And so I'm just getting ready to put in my last batch of popcorn. And this couple comes in, and they're probably late 20s, early 30s aged couple, and they are just one of those couples that is, their sexuality just bleeds from them. Everything about them is just like, I am going to just have sex with everything in this room, and everything in this room is going to be involved somehow. And I just happen to also be in that room. So they're one of those couples that's very open about their sexuality, very willing to share it with the world, no matter where they are, even in a lobby of a movie theater. And so they come up and they're thinking about their order, well, thinking about their order. Really, they're just uh, almost making out on the counter, and so I have to kindly, you know, hey, we don't like butts on the counter, we put food on there to give to other people, and I did just clean that, so don't put your butt on the counter! So the lady gets her butt off the counter, and they're contemplating, and they're sweet talking each other and completely ignoring me at this point. And at this point of the night, I am exhausted. I've just worked probably 10 or 12 hours by this point. I've been working since 5.30 in the morning. I'm done. I'm ready to go home. So being not involved in their conversation is perfect for me. All I have to do is give them food, right? Wrong. So they're making snarky comments to each other and little sexy little, I don't know, banter, I guess, would be a good, way, good thing to call it. And I'm just sitting there, waiting for them to place their order, and finally the, the girlfriend makes some really snarky comment and the boyfriend gets all fake offended, and he goes, hey, looking at me, one girlfriend to go, please, and she just turns and like, without skipping a beat, looks me dead in the eye and just goes, do I just jump behind the counter and get slathered up with sauces? And after, you know, kind of zoning out and not being involved in their conversation, that is one hell of a way to be brought into a conversation. Like, that's freaky. So I kind of didn't know what to say. I didn't really say anything, and I think she knew she was making me uncomfortable. And so what do normal people do in that, in that situation? Make the person more uncomfortable. So she continues and goes, Would you be the one doing the slathering? And at this point, I'd finally gotten my wits together, and I just point to the side where the concessions are, like, at the other end of the concession stand, and I'm like, Condiments are over there, and they're self-service, and that was about all I got out. That was the first coherent thought I got out in that interaction. And then she just laughs, and her boyfriend's kind of half-assedly trying to apologize, because he seems to at least have some sense of social norms, and it's not normal to ask to be slathered up with ketchup and mustard. So he's half-assedly trying to apologize while laughing through his teeth. Anyways, so they finally place their order, and the boyfriend takes the popcorn and the drink and goes into the theater to get some seats and because, you know, in an empty theater you gotta make sure you get the good seats. So, she, she's by herself. She's waiting for the hot food because they ordered something from the fryer and that always takes like five or six minutes, especially if they're cleaning upstairs and haven't gotten everything in yet. Anyways, so she's waiting, I'm waiting, 
I am doing everything I possibly can to avoid being near her and having any sort of interaction with her whatsoever. I don't want to talk to her, I don't want to be near her, she's freaking me out. So I put in my next batch of popcorn and I start wiping down counters and I start all the way at the far end hoping beyond hope that by the time I get back to her wiping down counters, the hot food will have arrived and I can just finish wiping the counter, hand her the food and she's gone out of my life forever. Great, right, wrong, no doesn't happen. I'm wiping counters and I'm getting really close and I'm at the cash register right next to mine and I'm like, oh, like okay, I have to interact with her in a second because like I have nothing else to do so I'm just wiping down counters. I get right up to her and of course the hot food isn't there yet. So at this point, conveniently, the popper starts popping and so you start hearing the lovely pop 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 of popcorn kernels and oil spraying everywhere and she looks me dead in the eye again for some reason I had looked up. She has like this weird magnetic stare, and once you, like, make eye contact, you can't leave. And she's like, what would happen if I had just stripped naked and danced around in the popper? And I kind of stared at her for a second, and I just said, well, the oil's really hot. You'd probably get a lot of burns. And she just goes, without skipping a beat, that would just make me dance faster. And at this point, I'm done. I'm just finished. There is no more I can say. So I just, like, hope beyond hope that the food, hot food is coming downstairs. And lo and behold, right as I'm about to, like, burst at the seams and freak out and probably yell at her, uh, the hot food comes down. And I think my coworker kind of noticed that there was some sort of weird tension going on. Because she, like, looks at me and looks at the lady and then gets out of there. She doesn't say a word. She just hands me the food. And then I hand it to her. And I'm like, okay, thank God. I can relax, I'm done. But no, she had one more thing for me. And as she's walking away, and I'm standing there relieved, she turns around, grabs my eyes again, and deep throats her water bottle. 